has fascinated mankind for thousands of years. Early chemists, known as alchemists, mixed some science with superstition and mysticism, attempting such impossible feats such as turning lead into gold or silver, and trying to create a panacea, the elixir of life, thought to cure all diseases. Although not yet discovered, these were widely believed to exist and were sought after with much vigor. Soon alchemy slowly changed into a more modern style, less superstition and more fact. Chemists tried to understand what made the universe tick, what it was made up of, and why did certain metals behave the way they did. It is at this time, the mid-1600s, that we begin our study on Robert Boyle. Robert Boyle was born in 1627 at Lismore Castle in Munster, Ireland, the 14th child of the Earl of Cork. As a young man of means, he was tutored at home and on the continent. He spent later years of the English Civil Wars at Oxford, reading and experimenting with his assistants and colleagues. This group was committed to the new philosophy which valued observation and experiment at least as much as logical thinking in formulating accurate scientific understanding. It was at this time, 1660, when Boyle was 33 years of age, that he played a key role in the founding of the Royal Society, a foundation whose purpose was to get scientists to meet together and talk over ideas and experiments that might prove useful to other men of chemistry. Although Boyle's chief interest was chemistry, he published his first scientific work, New Experiments, physico mechanical Touching the Spring of the Air and Its Effects. His book concerned the physical nature of air as displayed in a brilliant series of experiments in which he used an air pump to create a vacuum. The second edition of his work, published in 1662, delineated the quantitative relationship that Boyle derived from experimental values, later known as Boyle's Law, that the volume of a gas varies inversely with pressure. Boyle was an advocate of corpuscularism, a form of atomism that was slowly displacing Aristotelian and Periclesian views of the world. Instead of defining physical reality and analyzing change in terms of Aristotelian substance and form, and the classical four elements of earth, air, fire, and water, or the three Periclesian elements of salt, sulfur, and mercury. Corpuscularism discussed reality and change in terms of particles and their motion. Boyle believed that chemical experiments could demonstrate the truth of corpuscularian philosophy. In this context, he defined the term element in skeptical chemist as certain, primitive, and simple, or perfectly unmingled bodies which not being made of any other bodies, or one another are the ingredients of which all those called perfectly mixed bodies are immediately compounded and into which they ultimately dissolved. In his other experiments, Boyle made many important discoveries, including that of phosphorus. This chemical, when heated by friction, bursts into flame. Consequently, Robert Boyle invented the world's first match. So every time you go to light a candle, thank Robert Boyle. <laughs> Hey, I'm Gray Donnell, and I'm going to show you a really cool science experiment that I learned from Robert Cramp. Basically, I'm going to make flame shoot out of an orange peel. Check this out. Because you're going to need a candle or an oil lamp. Candle works best, but I didn't have a candle. 
food, you're also going to need orange peels. Duh. Try to pick a good spot that's not very flammable. A living room carpet probably wouldn't be a good idea. And obviously, have safety in mind. And yeah, don't do stupid stuff. <laughs> Alright. You light it, and if you're using a lamp like me, you're going to turn the lamp a little bit. Basically, you can use, take the orange peel. you got to peel the orange first. Duh. But basically, you can use an orange peel or a lemon or a grapefruit, pretty well any citrusy fruit with peels sort of like an orange. But I find an orange works best. Watch this. Have fun with this. It's really cool. Like I say, you can use anything, lemons, grapefruits, orange works the best. Have fun.